I've worked hard to get my life orderly, and if a woman can, you know, be orderly with me, that's great. But it seems like a lot of women are got too much chaos going on, and uh, I don't have time for that kind of destruction shit. <laughs> yeah, that's the story of that's like the story of my my parents kind of, <laughs> and then they got divorced in high school, and my mom was uh she's she's she was wild, but she had a lot. Of, well, every, everyone needs healing, right? And I think um, a lot of people get into relationships without having healed themselves. And then they kind of, you know, there's a, there's a quote, it says, if, um, if you don't heal your wounds, or we're your always cuts, working on our healing. Yeah, if you don't heal your cuts, then you'll bleed on someone who, who never cut you. And so you it, never, you never arrive, you never arrive at totally healed. Yeah, or it's like kind of if you, you, know, never, you if you don't heal what 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 cut you or hurt you, then you'll bleed on some. How many till now we still? Are you still there? No, you still the tail. Are you still there? Anyway, <laughs> but um, but uh, Merry Christmas, Joe. Merry Christmas. Um. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, but uh. God I, is real. God is. God is. God is pure love, but his fan club can be a little weird sometimes. It's what? God is pure love, but his fan club can be a little weird sometimes. <laughs> what, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, God is God. God is good. God is real. I know God is real. How do you, you know? know but, but religious zealots can be a little bit hard to, you know, they, there's a difference well, between God, there's a difference between God and his followers, you know? Yeah. His followers are all, God is pure love, but his followers, they're all a bunch of sinners. We're all a bunch of sinners, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you, if you even think about before the Bible, like before sin, right? Like, what do you, what did people call themselves right now? Because of the Bible, people are like, oh yeah, like, they know what sinner is. Like, even before the bible people had a concept of god but they didn't view god as love right well you know what is the commandments are not to like the commandments are there to protect us well it was funny human nature is funny like when you tell someone to do something you don't want to do it you know so the fact that right even, even yeah like like don't don't kill anybody okay yeah, yeah. nobody wants to hear that but it's just a good idea. Life is better if you don't kill people, you know? Yeah, it's better, but it's also like, you know, you can't so, <laughs> deny that that's, that's all in us, right? That desire to like, you know, even, even Jesus said, if you even have a desire to like, you know, do harm to someone that's, you're like killing them, right? If you hate, if you hate your brother, that's like, you're, you're killing them. And so Jesus But there there is a difference between a desire that's not acted on versus a desire that is acted on. Yeah, that's true. Um that's true. But yeah, um, I, I don't I don't know what you're you brought know, Yeah. You know, I think there's this idea of like, you know, you shouldn't you shouldn't have sex with, you know, outside of your marriage. But but see the thing is is if you if you if you do that, if you honor that what happens is you end up having an amazing family because you're, you're, you know, when you're faithful to your wife, you end up having a happy family. You can cheat on your wife, but it, it, it just, it doesn't make a good home life. Yeah. It doesn't make a good family. Yeah. That's true. So, so the thing is, is for every, um, for every commandment, there's a blessing that comes with it. For every commandment, command, yeah. So, like, if you keep the commandment of not cheating on your wife, then there's a blessing but called then, a better family life. But Jesus took it to another level. He was like, if you even look at a woman lustfully, then you've committed adultery in your heart. And it's like, yo, like, yo, Jesus, like, hey, these people can't even keep the basics of, you know, being faithful to their wife. Why are you taking it to another level? You know, like, they can't even well, keep well, the commandments, bro. Yeah, but there was an attorney, there was a lawyer that asked Jesus, like, there's all these different commandments, right? Yeah. Like, how can anybody keep them all? He says, hey, man, it's easy to love God, love your fellow man. As you love yourself, as you love yourself. Because you cannot fully love someone 
if you don't fully love yourself. I, I don't. Yeah, Jesus didn't say that. He did. It's in the Bible. He did. He it's didn't love say your that you, as you love yourself. Mm-hmm. He didn't say that you couldn't love somebody, whatever mm-hmm. level mm-hmm. your love is for yourself. Grandma says her room is dark, so she's coming to my room. This is my grandma. <laughs> Hi, grandma. <laughs> she she doesn't know. Cause she got my. She can't read her writing. Eh? What do you go? Eh? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What? Oh, okay. She wants to lie. Okay. Um. Yeah. Hey, give me two or three minutes. I'm gonna log back in. I'm. I just gotta run inside, and I'll be. You know, I'll be inside. Yeah. I, I just got got here. Sounds good. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah? Kushigamba. Where am I? Kushigamba. 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 Joe is an angel. Joe is an angel. I don't know what you can do. I don't know what you can do. I don't know Okay. Christmas time. That the moment comes to not turn you on. Oh, mm. oh, 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 my grandma's joining us today. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get some water. <laughs> Be back. <laughs> like, do you want to talk to my friend? 
I like grandma. <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. She, she doesn't know how to speak English, so she's like, oh, I don't know how to speak English. <laughs> hey, Penny. Hi, how are you? I'm too blessed to be stressed. Oh my gosh, I literally just got off work and, oh. It's a crazy snowstorm in Minnesota right now. And so I literally just drove through the snowstorm and I just got home. How are you? I've been just working, work, work, making uh, videos, promoting, closed the sale yesterday. Uh, $1,000 sale, collected $3,000 up front. That's nice. That's great. That's awesome. Awesome. Thank you. What's up, guys? What's up, Joe? Merry Christmas. I said Merry Christmas to Joe because he said he was having a Christmas. Uh, yeah. to, I can't tell her. <laughs> my grandma was like, I don't want to be by myself because my gra gra grandpa's on the phone. My old <laughs> And she's like, uh, she doesn't want to be alone. So she wants to be. Look at you, so cute. Like, so you could stay here. <laughs> Go on. Go. Um, but yeah um joe joe was saying something deep about god and he was saying like okay he said uh like jesus god is pure love but his fan club can be a little weird sometimes uh, yeah, yeah. i don't know you said that though that's funny yeah and he gets it that's true i mean i mean when we die hopefully you know, but well, I was I was telling Joe, like God, um, people didn't always view God as love, right? Until Jesus came, I think. Right? Yeah, I have to ask you guys though. Are you guys believers? I am. Okay. Yeah. What's I know God is real. I've experienced God. Dude, Joe, your your clock and mine look similar. Do you see the clock in the back here? Um, the clock in the back. It's not similar. It's like time. Yeah, they're both round. They are similar. Yeah, they're and they have a clock. So but um um anyways what were you saying penny or pam uh i was just asking if um you guys were believers <laughs> totally yeah yeah i went to biola i'm a mormon church of jesus christ of latter-day saints i hold the priesthood. <laughs> priesthood i do i am ordained as a priest really oh. yes i am hey interesting interesting um Cool. Well, are you? The, yeah, I was asking, like, why aren't you married yet? Because you, um, maybe you haven't found. Because it's not easy finding somebody whose heart's open these days. It's a very, it's a very strange world we live in. So you never met someone whose heart was open. To it all. You know, I've I, no. I, you know, I'm. I mean, I met Abigail, and she said she'd uh, have sex. I knew her ten years, and she goes, "Well, you have sex with me if you stop going to church." You stop worshiping God and you worship me instead. She so I had to drop her. What? A girl said that to you? Yeah. And then the other <laughs> girl, I knew her 10 years. She's sweet. And I really felt like God sent her to me. And she was my soulmate and all that. But uh, she decided to get addicted to crystal meth. And that just kind of messed up all the plans. Wow. That's crazy. I oh. had really bad luck being hurt. What would you say? I said I've had a lot of bad luck being hurt in relationships oh i'm well, sorry to hear that for everyone <laughs> yeah me, you too <laughs> why can't we just be sweet to each other i mean what is it that hard is it that difficult well be what why can't we just be sweet to each other is it that difficult for men and women to get along i think the right people <laughs> maybe it's what somebody said the other day about me they said that uh, you ever see the movie Elf with Will Ferrell, Buddy? He goes, you're just like Buddy Elf. It's like, he's like, you're like Buddy Elf. It's like, you have this like innocent heart and you mean so well and people don't understand you. Wow. That's good. That's deep. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I was, just, I was just thinking, I was like, dang, Joe, Joe's like, uh, he's like an angel because he's, he's gone through. <laughs> well, I think everyone, you know, him and you know i can tell you're an angel ray you know how i can tell oh by your halo the one that's held up by the little horns <laughs> yeah <laughs> i have a demon side 
but I haven't developed that fully yet. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we all have that. Hello. I think Hello. hurt people hurt people, so. And everyone is. I don't know, maybe Joe, you need to find someone that's not broken and hurt. <laughs> okay, and who is that? I know, right? <laughs> everyone um, has like some. Sort maybe of don't go on Tinder. <laughs> I don't go on Tinder. Just kidding. <laughs> Tinder. You know, uh, I think everybody's got trauma. I tell this funny little story. It's like I've been traumatized from the day I was born. I was all comfortable in the womb, and then I got evicted. They. I was going down, they kicked me out through the birth canal and all of a sudden it was noisy, it was bright. And I came out and a doctor, he picked me up and he slapped me. So I slapped him back and that was traumatic. I was traumatized from the day I was born. Wow, interesting. <laughs> Wait, that's, that's your story? That's my story, I'm sticking to it. Uh, <laughs> but I am the winning sperm, so. Yeah, yeah that's true. Um, hey, um, is it just the three of us? What happened to everyone? I think Zach, Zach said he's hopping on in a bit. And um, uh, there's a girl, uh, Ali. She's um, I'm yeah, there's some, some people as well. Uh, I got some new aromatherapy essential oil. Ooh, nice. What's the scent? This one is a blend called Happy. It's called Happy? Nice. It's a combination of orange. And and uh, geranium, germanium, germanium, nice. Pomerosa, pomerosa, nice. That sounds good. I have, I have this eucalyptus thing right here. Nice. But um, anyway, so how how did you guys week? Um, how have you guys been as far as posting, creating content? I know Pam went live. Um, you know, Penny or Penny, right? That's how you. Um, yeah. it's good. I did something that was very effective. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, tell us how that works. What? Uh, what? What is the question? Like, how was your live, and and are you planning to do more? And what? It was good. Yeah. Um, uh, I think, I think it was good. I just feel like maybe, um, I should have probably made some better announcement about it prior to like, um like going live, I should have probably prepped some people that I'm going to go live so that they can like tune into it. Sure. And then I had some issues, like some technical issues with Facebook live. And then I didn't go on from Facebook. And then, um, but I, we would have like two people tune into it, uh, to Instagram and then they would tune out and then two people would come in and then they tune out. And so, yeah. but That's I, cool. It was still a good experience, like I like getting comfortable, like talking in front of the camera. Oh, that's my little guy. <laughs> hey, 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 little guy. What's his name? Yeah. My name is Warrior Bay. <laughs> what do you say? Is it? His name is Warrior. Warrior. Hi, Warrior. Oh wow, yeah. that's an awesome name. That's a good name. Um, <laughs> yeah, because it's annoying. My dad one. Okay, I gotta do my meeting. And, my, and, and then my dad is going to buy me an toy. That's so awesome. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so it was still a really good experience. I feel like um, because, because I did the collaborating with the other gal, she also tuned her people into through Facebook. And we were able to just, hey, buddy, come on. No, 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 no. I'm having attention. Give me one second. <laughs> okay, I need to. I need to have a meeting. Um, I need to have a meeting. No, I'm having a meeting. How's things on social with you? Not right now. Um, I generated okay, a sale so, yesterday. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Like, like, what is my chicken nugget? Okay. Yeah, I, that was sweet. It's so yummy, fun. right? Yeah. Is, is that yummy? It's good with sweet and sour sauce. Is this good. so good? Yeah. Okay, let me good, let yeah. me go put him away. I'll sure. be right back. Okay. Um. Yeah, Joe. What's what's the progress for you for for on social? How, how have things been? Um, good on Facebook. 
You gotta, you gotta say, oh, Mustafa joined, right? I heard. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Nice, nice. That's good. So you gonna start working with you? We had our first call today. How'd it go? Dude, he is so stoked. Dude, we're gonna get him focused. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna change his freaking life. That's what's gonna happen. Nice. That's good to hear. Yeah, he's making money now. He's just uh he's not doing what he wants to do though, I guess. Yeah, there's something missing for him. So we're gonna figure it out. Okay, awesome. And he paid up front? Half. Half? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, well, I, if it I, was kind I, of referred to me by like three sources. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't really mind about the parole. It's up to you, but I just want you to help him out, you know. And obviously you're I'll, I'll kick you a little something. Okay, cool. But um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, do you know his story? Do you know a little bit about him or no? Yeah, I've been working with him. Yeah. And I want you were asking about uh Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, asking, social. Social. Yeah. So let me show you what I got. Um, can, I share my, can I share my screen? Yes. You got to enable it. Yeah, I did. I enabled it. Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Hey, Joe's going to share his screen. So I've been doing some pretty ninja stuff and friending people in groups that have things in common with me. Sure. Okay. So I did this post. By the way, I posted this on Instagram. Sure. I got like no traction with it, but I got 13 comments here. Okay. Okay. I just okay. shot a video with three steps it takes to build a happiness center business. Would you like me to send you the link? And I posted this a day before I made the video available. Okay. So I got like, absolutely, sure, Joe. Yes, sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then I made the video. And I went ahead and explained the three steps. See if I can do it this way. <clears throat> how to build a happiness centered business so i just built it out you know we all want business bliss but the three things that stop us is maybe we don't enjoy what we're doing or we're around people that we don't want to be working with we, we don't make enough impact and we you know we're not we're kind of invisible and we don't make enough money or gratitude and and so you know, you know, you want to do what you love with people that you love doing it with. You want to share the love um, through your service. Yeah. Uh, and then receive the love. And then, mm -hmm. so it's like, these are the, here's the promise. Here's the three problems. Yeah. Here's the three fixes. Mm -hmm. And here's the nine accelerators. Mm -hmm. So I made a video of that. And it's like, if you want more help, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to help, need help figuring this out, type the word bliss sure comments below and uh it's starting to work man it's so, you're getting so that's called a hand raising post yeah uh and then creating engagement you know i yeah. made a video would you like me to send you the link when yeah. they say yes now they're looking for the link sure and then they watch it and then if they like what they see it moves them into the next step of the process which which will move migrate them into chat so so show us the process show us like the process you, you take them so you you post that video right you posted that you know the teaser for like if you want to know these steps the three steps comment below and they did and then you made a video on that right or you made a video yeah the first step is to use what's called hand raising content <laughs> yeah okay i want to sure. get them to raise their hand and say yeah, i'm interested in that yeah and if, and I'm, I'm casting a wide net mm -hmm. so then I make a video and then I, I post it right on Facebook on my personal page. And, uh, and then I just get the link for that post. And then the people that said, yes, I'm interested. I yep. just go back and just reply to them. It's like, here's the link. Okay. So you, you do it individually. That's what you're doing to get. Clear. No. Well, I made this post. Yeah. And then I made this video. Exactly. And then I got the link for this video, you know, when you go into share. 
more options. Copy, you get the link. Yeah. And then all I did is I went back to this post and all the people that were interested, I just replied and pasted in the link. Okay, so you just de you're you're DMing them, you're just pasting the link instead of instead of mess messaging them on Facebook Messenger. <clears throat> you just post. Correct. It. Okay. What I'm doing. That's what Nicholas does too. That's what Nicholas has been doing. What I'm doing is generating leads. Yeah. Okay, and then what I'm doing is giving valuable content. Sure. Look at this. 13 shares, 60 views, six comments, nice. you know, and um, now, I'm, now I posted it on Insta. Mm -hmm. um, let's see what happened over there. So I had two people liked, I just took a screenshot of it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's what you did. You geotagged it. So all I had was two people, Marcel and uh, Sharon. <coughs> so did you? So I DM, guess. Did you DM them? Not yet, but that's the next step. Yeah, I mean, you're starting somewhere. Like literally, you know, it's it's like, and people are following you. I don't know from where, um, but um, but yeah, that's <clears throat> and you didn't even post it on your stories, you know. But those are some things. Uh, you know, I, I would say to go to that post again. The initial post? No, on Instagram. It's the exact same. It's a screenshot of. Did the you same. use hashtags? Are you using hashtags for I it? I did use some. Let's see. On your, on your Instagram. I mean, your Instagram. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. Um, On the comment or click more. So you, you did the geotag. Good. Go to more. You just see, you use one word of hashtag. I told you, you got to use double worded hashtag. You're not implementing one. You know, you, you use double worded hashtag specific to that post, you know, like five, and you're getting under 500 likes. So you got to use. Remember on the in the ebook I, I showed you um, which types of hashtags you need to use, how many posts that they have as well. Can I change it? <clears throat> yeah, well you posted it two days ago. You gotta do it on the day of, you know what I mean? But um yeah. But anyways, um cool. So 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 yeah, I mean you're you're still getting like even if it's just two likes, like yo, like if just one of them business is good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm happy for you. Um, so cool. And then going live for you would be good as well if you go live with people. I think that yeah, I go live once in a while. I mean, I did. I probably did two or three lives in the last week. I actually got a new um, on Instagram. I got a new content strategy calendar thing I'm working with. Sure. Okay. That's good. Content calendar. What does that look like? uh on mondays you do connection type posts so it could be a discussion discuss uh does does pineapple belong on a pizza does pineapple belong on a pizza okay yeah all these are about is just connecting with people and getting them to engage okay cool, cool. plastic straws or, or paper straws so you're just posting that on your facebook so Monday, the, the whole purpose of the, the post you post is a connection call. So week one, it's maybe discuss this. Week yeah. two, maybe it's like recommendations. Do you recommend a movie on Netflix? Sure. Week three, it's tools. Week four, it's a rant. Oh, okay. So it's just different topics you're just posting about on Instagram. Yeah, Mondays are connection. Tuesdays are characters like origin story, weakness, team, nemesis. Sure. you know origin superpower weakness and lesson team and battle sure. nemesis and law then then week three it's about coaching you know like uh, ask a question or you know here's a mistake people make or here's a model and then four, 
Thursdays are conversion days. Okay. You know, download a magnet or attend a webinar or a case study or I'm starting a new group. And then Fridays are creation days, like showing behind the scenes, like what are you creating? It's for your Facebook or Instagram? Which one? It's for Facebook. Okay. It could be anything I create on Facebook, though. Yeah. Just repurpose it onto Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and uh, and geo, you're doing the geo tags, but not the double worded hashtags. <clears throat> so that's something you could work on for that. Does anybody really look for a double worded hashtag? Yeah, people are. Yeah, people are doing it. They're getting seen. But you're getting, like, I shared with you that tool, Goso, to use. You know, if you're not getting much engagement, so you could use that um, to get engagement on your posts as well. Um, pay but, for Goso. We have to pay. Pay yeah. for traffic. No, right to get, to get more engagement on your posts yeah oh got it okay yeah yeah so please yeah. engage with me yeah. i will I, I, so. I gotta show you something <laughs> grandma's leaving bye bye grandma <laughs> she's like i'm leaving merry christmas grandma <laughs> i was like okay bye. <laughs> she, she was i like, just picked up some i picked up some really good art oh you did nice yeah um digital art so nice. you know like our iPhone <laughs> doing lines <laughs> men and women hugging each other but yeah but their their phones, there's no connection aliens coming but they can't even get any attention because everybody's in their phone and family at dinner and they're all sitting staring at their devices baby has a choice less, between a rattle and an iPhone less and less connection yeah um separated by their technology what is that? Um, That's pretty yeah, some of this is pretty good. Um, so you're going to post this or, or what are you going to no, do? No, this is somebody else's stuff. This is the one I really, you, what you said made me think of this is, uh, you know, at the grave, you know, how many likes and how many friends did you have? Yeah, I mean, there's people with a million followers. Yeah, I don't know if you heard Justin Bieber's song. It's called, uh, <clears throat> was it called Holy? Yeah. And then he's saying he's had everything, but um, but nobody to call, you know. And that's I heard that song. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's a deep song, but it's it's true, right? There's so many of us who have you know you know a lot of likes or followers, but at the end of the day, it's about like real connection, right? And I think yeah, I got a lot of likes and followers, but I'm spending Christmas alone because I have no family, I have no wife, and I have no children. Yeah, so I mean, Merry Christmas, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like, you sound, you remind me of like the Grinch, but like, the, not the, the Grinch. Grinch. I just, I, I actually, I, you know, I, I pour a lot of love into my clients, but then during the holidays, they all vaporize away because they run to their family. Exactly. And so, um, so yeah. I'm going to be in Dallas for Christmas. So. Huh? I'm going to be in Dallas for Christmas. Oh, nice. For for what? Or just visiting? Nice. Nice. Oh, because my daughter's my daughter wants to come see the anime stuff over there. Oh, there's an anime expo there. There's like a no, not an expo, like like a store. Oh, it's a store. Oh, okay. Only only there. It's only in Dallas or. Well, because my friend lives there too, so. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. I want to come see her, but. Dope. I did not know that animation was really popular in Texas. I didn't know that. She Googled it. South by Southwest, right? Um, yeah. I'm not too sure, actually. So is it South by Southwest? Maybe. I think that's normally during the summer, but they canceled it last year. I was in Austin, Texas when South by Southwest was supposed to happen, and it was all canceled. You were in Austin that time? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> i've been all over the place since the pandemic i've lived in like 40 different places <laughs> you've just been traveling everywhere yeah i know i go someplace for three or two or three weeks three or four weeks and then it's like what direction should i point my car i'm trying to figure out where the hell i belong oh so <laughs> you're just driving constantly i can run my business from the road as long as i got a wi-fi connection <laughs> sounds like you're on the you sounds like you're on a runaway like you're running away from the feds or something well i was supposed to get married <laughs> four years ago and there. she decided huh i was supposed to get married four years ago and, and... A, world tour. a world tour what'd you say yeah. i said he's going on a world tour <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, that's good, though. If you're, like, because you're single, you're not married, like, you're not tied down to anyone, like, anything, you know? You could just live your life however. But... I'd like to have love in my life, but it feels very unavailable to me. <laughs> Maybe we, I mean, isn't that why you were in the, in the, uh, in the coaching program with Jared? No. I was in the coaching program because Jared said, come in and teach my guys some business stuff. Okay. By the way, I blocked him on social media. Every time I saw his name on my newsfeed, I cringed. Now I don't have to cringe anymore. Oh, okay. Wait, why do you cringe? Why? Because he kicked me out of his group without even having a conversation with me. Did you DM him and be like, hey, like, why'd you do that? Yeah, he was like, just drop it. And I, I think he's got some other guy in there that's endorsing, does like crypto or some some bullshit. Yeah, Larry. What is it? Oh, is it? I was like, is that GHB? <laughs> no, it's uh, vitamin D3 and K2 in drop form. Oh, nice. Cool, cool. Um, But yeah, I mean, I was basically going to go over theme pages because that's actually how I, well, actually, we, I want to hear from Penny. Like, so, um, you know, so you're live, you did your live and then uh, are, are you, yeah. you going to plan to do more? Plan to do more? Of yeah, I want to do more. Um... Mm -hmm. it was a really good experience i think because i collaborated with someone she was able to tune in her people as well sure and so she got a, a little bit more engagement than i did and her people was asking a lot of questions and that's why we were able to like answer a lot of those questions nice. and um, <clears throat> it was kind of it was really fun i actually really enjoy going live and being able to like talk about topics that we were passionate about yeah. We mainly talked about business and we talked about hair and how to, um, you know, a lot. And we started off talking about how to have a better la relationship with your service provider. Yeah. But then a lot of people started asking business questions because, uh -huh. like, okay. both her and I were in business. And so mm -hmm. that was kind of cool. And then, um, you could post you know, that. You, could say, you posted that on your Instagram as well, right? So people, I are... did. Yeah, I did. That's good. Um, and then we ended up giving a bunch of like business advice. You know, um, we didn't, yeah. conversation kind of just led that way, but um, it was just interesting, like learning to talk to the camera. Excuse me. And, um, yeah. <clears throat> comfortable with it. And uh, I think I should probably do a better job at like making an announcement, letting people know that I'm going to go live so they can tune in. Yeah, I have the same problem. I just kind of like go live, like whenever. But yeah, well, it'd be good. Yeah. If you, the more you put good stuff out, the more people will tune in to you, and sure. and not everybody's gonna be there live, um, and so a lot of people will catch the replay. So yeah. you can say, hey, if you're watching this while live, great. And if you're not, catch the replay. Did you see the live I did with Cody? Oh, I saw the, the one that was posted. I saw the one that you posted, yeah. When that was posted. That was a kick-ass, uh, you know. I know. You just got to get more eyeballs on it. And so, like, the question is, how do you get more people to see that content? And like I said, you need the thumbnail. You need a good thumbnail. Um, you could you could use GoSo to increase engagement as well, you know. But I started growing Penny. Um, how's the growth been for you, Penny? Like, um because i always seem growing you know. yeah <clears throat> yeah i noticed that it was just kind of like uh it was interesting because like i i mean what did you guys have to do i mean i don't even know but they're from like um, a lot of meme pages like meme theme pages wait what they're from like a lot of theme pages theme pages the like growth what do you mean by that <clears throat> like theme accounts like general accounts like things that are like general niche accounts oh yeah. like all those people yeah like they're real people though but yeah they're from like a yeah. general like audience that's yeah, how yeah. that's how i'm growing now too but before i just grew from like you know viral viral posts and things like that viral yeah it was interesting um it yeah, I, I feel like I don't know. I not like I, texted, I was like, I was starting to feel a little bit of pressure. <laughs> Why? Because you have a lot of people. Like, yeah, like, just because like I feel like when you have that many people like watching you, it's like yeah, like, you're self-conscious. You're self-conscious. Um, yeah. Would yeah. You, like, like, you know, would you like me to explain to you in one to two minutes how to never have stage fright ever again? 
Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I do get stage fright sometimes. I mean, it, like your social media is like your stage, right? It's like your platform. Yeah, pretty much. Your the reason stage. we get stage fright is because we're, it's a little bit of imposter syndrome, you know, we're nervous. Oh, are they looking at me? Is my hair straight? Yeah. Do I have a spot on my clothing? That's all looking at yourself. But when you're speaking to a crowd, it's like you want to like hold your hands out. It's like you're you're giving them a gift. <coughs> and so you may feel some nervous. Nervous comes from, you know, everybody gets butterflies in Toastmasters and said you got to teach your butterflies to fly in formation. And so the more you focused on the fact that you're sharing a gift, the the less you have to think about your self-consciousness. The moment you start thinking, am I getting through or, or are they approving of me or whatever the hell voices in your head, those voices will, will get you nervous and will give you that stage fright. And so any nervous, you, you want to turn your nervous into service. So just focus. I'm here to help you. I'm here to, to, to change your life. I have an important message I want to share to you and it's all for you. So your life, you know, your so you don't focus care, your you. relationships, your whatever can be better. And yeah. so the more you focus, you got to be selfless and not selfish. The more you think about yourself, the more that the nervous can kick in. I learned, mm -hmm. I took me seven years at Toastmasters and then one day it just clicked in me. This is why we get stage fright. It's because we're thinking of ourselves and we're not thinking about the gift we're sharing with them. The gift that you're sharing. Mm -hmm. Or be like Hitler and do a bunch of drugs, and then I'm just kidding. Um, because I yeah, that's, let's all be like Hitler. I'm glad you recommend that, that. That's what I heard he did. He just took a bunch of drugs because he didn't have that confidence, you know. So he would just do a bunch of drugs, and then it wouldn't be a natural confidence, right? And I think that's why a lot of people do um do drugs because because that mimics that feeling, I guess, or they feel that like powerful on it or some sort of way that naturally they don't feel in themselves. You know what I mean? And so that's, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, that, that's- uh, Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, but um, anyways. Does that help, Betty? Yeah, that does help. And overall, like, it was a good experience. I definitely want to try to do more live. But like I was saying, it's just more so like I was now feeling the pressure of like, oh, um, now the stuff I put out has to be uh like good information you know like good content like, good content you know like valuable things you know because sometimes i'd be posting silly stuff on my story sometimes and i'm like oh, is it really valuable you know i mean it's, it's your personal page so people who follow you they'll either vibe with you or not you know so yeah. it's just it's good to be who you are true, true to yourself yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, true, true to you um, now when i go live i usually have a framework um i use i use something that looks like this i'm going to share my screen nope. so i fill out one of these content pressures so what's the topic what's the title what's the promise you know if you get this wrong if you get this right you know and then i and then i move into you know the model you know maybe i have some kind of structure that i'm sharing the framework and then here's the metaphor yeah yeah and then and then i give it a context sure and then i teach some steps and then i tell a story like a client success story and then i go look you can do it the old way or you can do it the new way if you want help with this private message me let's have a conversation so you can hire me and spend big bucks <laughs> yeah so you can pay me so, so your life gets better exactly um cool uh well yeah i mean so so that's good here i think um yeah pam pam i was able to grow uh you know we're, we're gonna get her past 10k like what was agreed and um um so the reason i showed that for you penny was to do you, do you go by penny or pam <laughs> that's funny um because <laughs> that's like the 10th time like people yeah she's like no Ray calls me Pam. My name is actually not Pam at all. <laughs> no, you said in the before it was Pam. No, he <laughs> said. No, I never said that. Oh, okay. We're having a miscommunication. I said it was Pania. Pania. 
Pania. Yeah, is my real name. The reason I showed you that is before I go live, I usually have some kind of notes. Like, I just want to cover these things. Yeah. yeah. For the notes wise and stuff. Okay. Um, okay, cool. So let me see. Okay. So, I mean, any questions though? So, so obviously you're growing a following and you want, you said you want to make an impact or do you feel like you're doing that the content you're posting? Do you have any questions on like, you know, how, how should I, did, did you find how to post repost viral content as well? Like how to find viral Yeah. Content? Like when I reposted certain <laughs> things from like some, some, some motivational stuff from other people's page, like I did get like, um, lots of like engagement from that and a lot of people did like like it and stuff like that um and then hold on a second sorry my son is like messing with this yeah um and then the other thing is um wait what was your question sorry like on social media do you feel like you're 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 impacting lives and you know like oh yeah 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 like, so like i have had some people like do. yeah yeah, I have had some people like hmm. reach out, message me, and tell me that, oh, you know, like, um, wow, like I, cause you know, like I kind of took your advice about sharing a little bit of my story. You did, yeah. And How did that go? Yeah, that was good. That one was good. Like a lot of people were really engaged. What it? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people were like, oh wow, like didn't know, or um, a lot of people reached out to me after that, and they also like thank me for sharing my story or like even just a little bit of it like um yeah yeah and I actually had a few gals that um did reach out and say that oh like I really like the stuff that you're posting um I it was very inspired and different things like that yeah okay and then did did they are you gonna like do they want your coaching or do they want Something like that. Do, um, do I think they will know because <laughs> I haven't put it out there yet. Because you want to do that, right? That's what you want to do, coach. Yeah, I would like to. Yeah, I would eventually like to. But I think the reason why I haven't is because, like, I am not really, um, you know, like, there's a lot going on in my life right now. And I feel like if I can't stabilize my schedule, I don't think yeah. I can. Um, start off, start something like that yet. Of course, you can stabilize your schedule. Like, you know, um, there's a lot going on right now within my family. And so, um, you know, and I am a single mom and have two kids. So it's, yeah. it's just, you know, trying to figure out, like, you know, with COVID and everything, they have school too. And I have to help them virtually with school when I get off. And, you know, like my schedule, I get out super late. And so I got to figure out. A balance where I can get off work earlier and have a little bit more availability. <coughs> Once I figure out my availability, then I can probably offer some sort of service, you know. Okay, because because you want to supplement this right with your yeah your yeah. So yeah, I mean it could be like once a week coaching, you know, once a week calls, and that could supplement yeah. your hair salon business as well. Can I just do something like like midweek, like a day? A day. Yeah, yeah, like and promote it as like I'm available. Yeah, Wednesday. You Wednesday. Know what I do? Uh, I'm gonna share my screen again. Sure. To help Penny, Penny, Penny. Funny, <laughs> funny name girl. Not Pam. Not Pam. Yeah. Funny name girl. <laughs> so this is a framework I use, and what you want to do is uh, design your ideal week. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you can either run your week or let your week run you. And so what you want to do is like, if you had a perfect week, what would it look like? So like for me, Sundays are a day off. It's a day of worship or just recharging my spiritual batteries. Thursday is my personal day, but I still do a little bit of business stuff there. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, I do my coaching calls. Um, I'm building in a time to do my content now. <coughs> mm -hmm. And so like for each day, is it a free day? Of so on the very left, it's like, what are the ingredients of an ideal week? Yeah. So you, you know, like maybe a little bit of time for the gym, a little time for your coaching, you know, time for the kids, you know, and so sure. you can overlap their calendar on this as well. Sure. So, sure. Um, and so then for each day, is it a free day or do you focus on one thing or is it a buffer day where it could kind of go either way? And I'm like, yeah. what's the purpose of this day? Like, you know, so Sunday is a spiritual hey, recharge. I have a, I have a question, Joe, how's um, Clubhouse going for you? clubhouse app the I, one time I, I used it i actually generated some leads <clears throat> yeah the one time you use it <laughs> yeah 
few people wanted to that was the time I, I got you to speak right yeah 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 nice awesome did uh to shorn or one of the guys i ended know? up talking with like 20 30 people dang okay dang so you got like 20 leads from that or something no i got like 20 or 30 people talking and maybe i think two or three three or four of them signed up for my facebook group okay nice that's good so yeah one or two of them turned into appointments <clears throat> okay oh none of them did turn into appointments one or two of them might have been scheduled an appointment Okay, nice. That's good. So, Penny, does this help you? Yeah, it does. It's helpful for sure. Yeah, and then I would say, you know, keep, you know, keep going live, and then also, I guess your goal was to make an impact, which is what you're doing through the content you're sharing, right? Some of the yeah. content you're posting. So, I have a friend who wrote a book called okay. Saturday Saturday Morning CEO. Yeah. And his whole theory, his name is Dennis Nermella. His whole theory is, you know, you have your day job Monday through Friday or whatever. Yeah. But you block Saturday morning from, you know, eight to noon as the day to be CEO of your business. So Saturday morning is for the day for Penny to be the CEO of her coaching business. Yeah. I mean, because if, if you really want to take the online coaching to the next level, then you would have to set aside a day for that for sure. Yeah. Um, you got to treat it like a business and not like a hobby. You got to like, even if it's 30 it, minutes a day i think it's not complacent i think a lot of people are complacent that's why they never start their business you know and that's mm -hmm. like for a lot of people who are comfortable and they don't want to like start their own you know i mean you know penny she already has her thing going on she's not that focused on doing this coaching yeah, she's thing, got right? the hair thing so it's hard to focus on the but see here's the thing i want you to imagine that you put a time on the calendar for coaching and then somebody says, I want my haircut. You got to treat that hair. You got to treat that coaching time that you blocked out. You got to treat it like somebody was um, scheduled. To, that, like that time is already blocked out. You can't, yeah. you can't say, well, I'm going to go cut somebody's hair and then throw away your business time. Right. Yeah. And you, you could do honor coaching. Like, money that way. Like, what would you guys charge for coaching anyway? Like, well, I charge 500 an hour, but I don't sell hours. I sell six months of coaching for 6K. Actually, 7,500. <laughs> six months of coaching for 7,500. Okay. And you're not even fulfilling a service. You're just coaching them, huh? No, I'm fulfilling a massive service. I'm, dude, I'm, I'm changing lives. I'm helping people. I'm custom I'm helping people custom build their businesses from nothing. I'm I am a wizard. I am doing pure alchemy. <laughs> pure your business alchemist. Yeah. What if I just did like a dollar a minute? Like I did 30 minutes for 30. But it depends. What do you want to coach on? What do you want to coach people on? What do people like well, from your life? What the is the problem you is you're selling time for money? Wait, wait, wait. I gotta I gotta fix you on this, Penny, because if you sell hours, you'll never make a lot of money. Sell five hundred an hour? That's a lot. I mean, if you kept selling a lot of hours that way. What I'm saying is don't sell hours at all. Sell packages or sell a packages. solution. Yeah, okay. One of my clients, uh, he didn't know what he was business he was going to go in, but he figured it out like this week. And he's going to help men who, who have been through like divorce and their lives have been turned upside down. And he's going to help them like get their foundation and grounding back and get them like like productive again and setting new goals and helping them put their lives back together put their life back together after divorce. after divorce and like pretty good yeah i mean you lose the wife you lose <clears throat> the kid you lose the house you, you get child support and all this stuff and you lose a lot of money and it's like your life is kind of upside down and so he's going to be a coach for men who've been divorced to help them re-get their life back together and you're and he's in a group coaching or one-on-one -on -one coaching that he's method one-on-one -on -one. One, one -on -one coaching for that Okay, nice. Is yeah. a process for that. Cool. Um, okay. So yeah. Oh, wait, huh? Yeah. Um. Okay. So Ray, I know you've seen my Instagram. Uh, what do you think of the flow of like the way I post? Like, you know, I would have like, like, two pictures and then a quote and then you know, like the way I I'm formatting right now. Yeah. Let me see. I'll check it out. Let me see. Uh, <clears throat> Pea Soul Fresh. Why'd you name it that, by the way? Why is it called Pea Soul Fresh? Oh, it's actually just Soul Fresh, but then I put the P because my name is Penny. <laughs> but okay. um, Soul Fresh was actually um, because back when I was, um, when I still had my barbershop, my barbershop was called Soul Fresh. 
Okay. I was, I was, that's that's why you named it Soul Fresh. Cool. It's just like my business name. Okay. Um. So so you're asking like what what do you think about the layout and things like that? Yeah, the layout. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think it's good that you know you obviously have a, uh, you know quote quotes. That's good. Um, and then IGTVs, that one was really good. Did you put you posted this on TikTok as well? YouTube? I did, yeah. Well, yeah, TikTok would be a great way to grow your audience. Um, yeah. And I think um, yeah, the quotes are point. I think who's that beautiful woman? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's me <laughs> you own yeah i think it's good you're owning you're, like before you post just a lot of hair right and now you're putting yourself out there you're showing your face you're sharing your story you know that's that's the main most important part um you're sharing your story and people are resonating with that and that'll end up getting you more clients as well you know just just being real authentic with people yeah um and uh posting you and your kids singing like that would um i think content wise there's there's a good variety of it before it was just hair and just more hair like joe said <laughs> but, but the hair people, page yeah i mean but that's 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 how people know you as a hair you know um dresser but you could also post um you know viral content around here as well to uh i mean that that's like a strat so i guess we'll go into um Pretty much how I started growing Instagram accounts, like how I grew, you know, a million followers on Instagram, and things like that. Um, it's by building theme pages. And so I think to answer your question, though, I think this is it's a lot better. Yeah, the flow you're doing carousels. I think before and afters would work. Before and afters do a lot better on Instagram. So you could try that before afters. Wait, so um, I forgot. I think you mentioned this before, but I forgot what you said. Um, how do you find viral content? Because sometimes there are some hair stuff virals, virals too that like viral I, content you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. So you could go to maybe like this is viral hair, right? For example. Or like do you, is there a page you follow that has a lot of uh followers and content? Um sometimes. Sometimes. Um yeah, so there's that um there's other content too let me see uh <clears throat> let me see i'm trying to find hair pages uh, so if you look at if you just type in hair you're gonna see uh just all things here <laughs> you know this is a good one so so these are these are pages you can find viral content off of and you just see like how much engagement they got and then you just save that and then you can repost it as a way to get more traction onto your page, if that makes sense. You okay. know? Yeah, so that's a strategy you could do. And then uh, obviously they're not people that you've cut their hair for. So that's, yeah. you know, uh, but then, like I said, that's kind of how you clickbait people onto your page and you get more engagement by by reposting viral content. Yeah. That makes sense. And so, um, yeah so so that's you know one thing and um i was going to share you know how i grew theme pages basically in today's call uh but yeah but i mean i think joe and uh, penny you guys you guys really are interested in building a theme page but joe since he's like he's not getting engagement on his personal maybe you want to maybe you just want to post things that you know are viral reposts so it's not what just you about you because people are not following because of that you know what's mean? a theme page theme page is like any page around a certain topic so it could be around like hair it could be around like tattoos it could be around luxury okay. travel things like that you know um so yeah di different theme pages you could uh you could utilize for that and so um so yeah i guess with that did that answer your question? So you can build a theme page around any, like, around any, um, any topic. Any topic, but you can utilize other people's posts, just tag them kind of thing. Yeah, you just you just repost them. Like that's 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 what I do. I've like this I'm running this at two account and then other accounts. Um I used to run like tech accounts, luxury accounts, travel ones. But this one we just repost people, you know, and we, we get um 
you know, people to follow just from this, you know, oh, and so you could, you could be a repost account and things like that as well to, to get people on. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So that's, can you build, can you build theme pages and, <clears throat> and add your personal to it for them to follow too? Yeah. So that, that's what people do like that. For example, that's what, um, you know, what, what Joel does, Joel Brown, he's a, he's a success coach um that's what he's doing he's you know posting motivational hey, content. Legit. What? what was that <laughs> um he's posting motivational content and then uh and then he's shouting out his own page you know to to grow oh. personal wait where does he shout it out at on his bio the from from his posts you know his posts oh. things like that so that's how he that's how he's doing it um for himself you know, um, so you could build a theme page around whatever niche and then and then go from there, you know, okay. uh, that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, let me get into the lesson today then. So if you guys can uh, unmute and then I'll kind of go into teaching you guys okay. this one. So this is around building a theme page. If, if you feel like you're not really growing your account or you feel like you're, um, you know, people aren't paying attention to what you're posting, what you can do <clears throat> is building a theme page. And this is actually how I um, built, you know, a page to like millions of followers and how I got, uh, you know, how, how I learned how to grow, you know, on Instagram this is by building theme pages. And so this is, um, in the week five, you know, building a theme page and basically you could grow following around anything. You could literally create a themed Instagram page based on your interests, your passions, what you think will be a cool topic. And I have a guy, uh, a friend, his name's Gil. He, he built a 3 million uh, followed luxury travel Instagram page, right? And he just posted luxury travel destinations. He'd visualize about it and he would just grow a following around that, but he would be a content curator. And so this can revolve around any of your passions, whether well, it has to do with hair, makeup, tattoos, luxury cars, any niche. And you can also turn this later on into a platform to sell products, you know, coach people, um, basically turn it into a business. And so, you know, my journey was I started off in the motivation niche. I built a theme page to around, you know, 80K followers, and then I sold it. Um, then I got into buying and selling accounts that were in like luxury travel tech niches, and uh, I'm currently running 900K tattoo page, um, 600K motivational account. And um, yeah. And so how did I grow? You know, I, I curated content, the best content on Instagram, um, even from YouTube. Uh, you could curate content from YouTube to build an audience around what your passion is. And at the time, you know, my passion was around motivating, inspiring people. Um, and now it's similar, except I'm focusing on teaching and coaching now. Um, and content curation is different than just posting about yourself since people may not be interested in you, um, but they may be interested in your brand, what you talk, what you're about. For example, um, you know, Joe's posting about himself, but people are not interested in that because they don't know what he has to offer. <laughs> the, what, the way that he's presenting, the way that he's presenting isn't getting their attention. You know what I mean? And so you could curate, you know, good content around that. It's not, that he doesn't have good content. It's just, they're just not seeing it. And the reason is because, um, you know, so so once you start doing this, once you start curating content, you start developing an eye for what kind of content will go viral, what kind of content will do well. And then that's how you curate content um, from, from seeing other people's content, seeing like, why did this get so many likes and engagement um, and comparing that and eventually making your own content to, to be like that, makes sense. Uh, Cool. And then you want to think about your passions, right? Think about what are you passionate about? You know, what would you not have a problem posting about every day, every week? What's something that gets you excited to be posting about? And you can look up other Instagram accounts, their niches, and think about curating content from those pages. So that's what I did for my motivational account. I just curated motivational content and um, things from those pages. And then I also just started growing by by posting viral content on those pages. And how do you curate content? You can literally just copy and repost what other people are posting on their pages, um, start posting that type of content. And you don't have to create any content, you just start curating content. So um, if you're someone who hasn't made you know, content, but you just wanna get started, 
you could just look around Instagram, see which posted the best, you know, download them and start reposting them on a new page. And you can also clip, you know, parts of YouTube videos and post those in screen share. So uh, I'll give you an example, um, you know, of, you know, of someone doing that, I guess. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you an example of what that looks like. So there's a guy, he's just literally scraping cool um, videos off of YouTube and just reposting it onto, uh, onto Instagram. And this is what, you know, it's called paid in full. And he's just, um, you know, reposting content and then putting a, a clear text on that, which is not hard to do at all. And um, yeah, and then he just, he's just getting a lot of engagement because he's, uh, it's original content and he, it's a feature page, it's a theme page. And so um, that's an example. You can make your own <coughs> theme pages if you're not getting traction on your own page. And then as you get traction on that, then you could shout out your own personal account. You know what I mean? Um, so that's, that's, uh, that's something you could do. Um, and um, yeah, buying accounts. So there's, there's a site you can actually buy and sell accounts. Um, it's called swapped.co. And this is, um, this is a site where you, uh, where, you know, you can list accounts for sale. You can buy accounts um, like YouTube accounts and, and other things like that. Um, so, so this is a resource obviously that um, you could utilize for it. You know, people are selling, you know, their Twitter accounts, they're s selling uh, everything, a cat account, a healthy food account, you know, but, but running a page is different, right? Like just cause you buy an account doesn't mean you know how to run a page, right? R run an Instagram page. And so that, that's a whole nother skill set that you have to develop as a content curator that, that, you know, it takes years. It takes a lot of time for you to kind of learn how to be a content curator and start posting content like that. Um, and uh, shout for shout. So shout for shout. So I'll give you an example. So shout for shout, I'll explain what that is. So shout for shout is when you shout each other out so you can grow each other's following. You could do this as a, as a theme page by DMing other accounts of your size or a little higher than asking each other to repost one of their content. Um, shout you out in the captions or even do a story shout out to your audience. Um, you can even form your own networks via Instagram DMs or on Telegram so you can share each other's posts and grow by posting each other consistently uh, each week. And so I'll give you an example of um, of what that looks like. Let's see. <clears throat> So this is an example of a shout for shout, um, like this one. You know, being a boss isn't a job, it's a lifestyle. Which slide resonated, tag a friend, check out our friends, uh, Legend of no Motivation, if you're looking for the best motivational quotes on Instagram. And then you go on their page and they shout you out. And that's that's pretty much um, how shout for shouts work. You know, follow addicted to success for great motivation, inspiration. Um, and that's how, you know, shout outs work. You, you shout them out, they shout you out. And um, <clears throat> that's, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much how that works. But then <laughs> obviously you guys might be thinking that takes like too much work. I don't have time for that. Like then you pay, you know, someone like me to just grow you. <laughs> um, but then this is kind of, this is the way that I grew on my accounts and um, how a lot of people who are in this network of like theme pages, this is how they grow. They, they, they grow by shouting each other out. They grow by um, forming their own networks on Instagram and just growing each other that way. <clears throat> and uh, what else? Um, yeah, and people have their own groups. I, I actually had a, actually created one of the largest groups on Telegram that, you know, they had pages that were like one mil plus, And then we were just um, shouting each other out, you know, um, growing each other, helping each other go viral. And um, obviously Instagram caught on. So they changed the algorithm, things like that. But at Telegram groups, there, um, you know, you there's you, like I said, if you haven't downloaded Telegram yet, you should. I could get you in some of these groups for likes and comments. And then GoSo is a tool that I shared that you could use to increase your engagement um, on your posts as well. You know, like your themed accounts. And so, um, <clears throat> yeah, the homework was today. Like, think about what your passion is, what you can start posting about. Think about how you want to impact the world how you envision it and what you can do to make that a reality um, because 
you know, obviously we only have what 80 years on this earth and then, and then it's time for the next, the next wave to come and, and, you know, do their thing. But, um, no, I don't know why I got into that. I, I, uh, you know, and that's, that's actually why I started like leaving medical school and trying to do something else. Cause I felt like there's so much more I could do in the world. Obviously you have to make money, but, um, I want to impact, you know, more people, which I'm sure, you know, those of you guys on this call want to do as well. And so, <clears throat> um, start by curating content from the best posts on Instagram, start to post them on your Instagram page. And you could, um, actually, uh, just get more eyeballs on and attention onto your page that way. And so, um, so yeah, you know, this is how you start a theme page, uh, how you start curating. And if you're curious on like, for example, um, like you have a hair page, then you, you look up hair and then, um, you look up different things in that niche. And then, um, and if you click this button right here, the click down arrow, you can see other pages that are in your niche. And that gives you an idea of like, what kind of themed accounts can I start building? Um, you know, and so you look at, you look through their posts, like this one got 6,000 likes, this one got 26,000 likes, why? And then you kind of go and analyze and observe like, man, you know, how did this get 45,000 likes? And then you analyze the post, like, like, look at it. Like it says, um, it's a before, after you, me, tempting me the low pony. Um, it's a visual. That's why it stands out. This takes like a lot of time for you to develop an eye for these kinds of things, which is why like, you know, someone <clears throat> like me, who's done this for like years, we, we can immediately point out, okay, this one did well because look, um, they have expectations, reality, a before and after, and it's a clear visual. And so it catches your eye. You know, everything on Instagram has to be visual, has to catch your eye. So you got to think about how can I make it eye catching? <clears throat> and um, if you don't know, if you're not sure, then like look up accounts that are in your niche, if it's motivation or hair, and then um, just see like, why is this doing well? Look, it's expectation versus reality. There's a clear uh, image um, stands out. There's a before and after. So things that are like juxtaposed, like put side by side and like compared, they do pretty well um, as well. So, you know, things like this, uh, but this one only got a thousand uh, or 1800 likes. So, you know, but this one got 6,000 likes. Why? Because maybe of the hair color, you know, things like that. So there's, you never know till you post it, like, but things like this consistently have gotten a lot of likes. So you want to observe and analyze that and be like, okay, how can I create content like that or, or get, you know, um, advice or, 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 uh, <laughs> this is a skincare routine, girl, 700 bucks guys, <laughs> that's the truth. And so, um, so yeah, you just want to analyze different pages, see how they're doing it and, um, kind of get to see, um, you know, what kind of posts go viral, what kind of things do well. And um, that will give you an idea for what what you could start, you know, mimicking your content after and posting about. So um, hopefully, you know, that helps. And yeah, so that's, you know, for, you know, Joe's like, hey, I, I'm posting, no one's seeing it. Well, then maybe stop posting about yourself. Start posting, you know, viral content around, um, you know, motivation, entrepreneurship, you know, business and, you um, <clears throat> things like that. You know, someone who doesn't know you, Joe, and they're like, I just shot a video with the three steps it takes to build a happiness centered business. Would you like me to send you the link? The fact that you got like 16 likes, you know, like 60 views on Facebook is like, wow. Like, and it's kind of like, imagine if, um, you know, it's because it's they don't know imagine you. Imagine adding a zero. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> zero zeros and zeros on top of that. Right. And so it's just, um, just learning how to monetize is one thing. Learning how to grow pages is another thing. And learning how to get attention is another thing. Yeah, getting attention, making money, they're two different things for sure. But um, but if you if you analyze different theme pages, you're gonna see how can I, you know, build a theme page around that and and start uh getting content if that makes sense, you know? Yep. Does that help a little bit? Yeah, I can throw I can throw content on my page that that um if i mix it in with with i have themes of what i do in my business but that doesn't mean i have to supply all the content right 
Uh, what do you mean? So I can use other people's content. I can, I can use, like, I could show somebody like giving a great marketing talk or something. Yeah. Be like, yo, well, like check out this great talk by this guy. What are your thoughts? You know, and that's like clickbait to get people into your page. Yeah, Joe, I think you should do that. Or, or you can do like quick one minute video a day, or maybe like you should probably ask for a shout out or something. Who would shout me out? Would you shout me out? Ray, would I'm you shout me out? out? Yeah, shout totally out. I've already shouted you out before my story. I'll shout you out. Yeah, I mean, and what you do is you get these pages to like, you could DM them or like ask them shout out prices. But if you don't want to do that and you want, you know, you just want it done for you, like I said, like I, I do that for people. <laughs> I do growth campaigns right. for people um, and just handle the whole uh, Instagram part for them. And the growth, the growth campaigns as well. I want to talk to you about how you sell your stuff because I think if you yeah. present yourself better, you'll sell more. For sure. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of, I get to work on for sure. I guess I so so I eat, I eat problems like this for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. So I so how I I've gone clients is just like one-on-one -on -one calls, right? But what I want to do to scale is like make a course and sell that course. You know what I mean? I think that that will be way more scalable than just like one-on-one -on -one clients, you know, yeah. there, you know. If I do well, take one-on-one -on -one clients, it's gonna be super high ticket, right? And so it has to be high ticket. Um, yeah. Or, uh, yeah. The harder my marketing works, the easier my selling goes. So what was that? <clears throat> the harder my marketing works, the easier my selling goes. Yeah. So you just got to market it better, you're saying? What I'm saying is if you put content out that pre-sells you and makes them go, holy crap, Ray knows his shit. He's a freaking expert. I got to learn from Ray. Yeah. You know, like then they lean, you don't have to, you don't have to, if they're pre-sold through your marketing, then you don't have to do a lot of selling in the actual strategy session. Yeah, exactly. That That's the part. I just, I, I need to have clear packages and sell them on the right things. And uh, no, you need to have one clear package. This one package like done for you. <laughs> this is my epic package. Well, this is my epic what done for you. This is my epic one on one. And this is my epic group. Okay. Or, or product. And for you, don't even have different, um, don't even have different tiers to that. And I think that, I think that 5K is a lot of money for people. I think that, I think that you need to make, like for entry level people, 5K is just going to blast them out of the water. Yeah, if it's like a monthly, like per month, you're saying? Yeah, and I don't know if you want to, you well, know, maybe I mean, you that's, just want to like, like yeah, sell a package. It's like, it's not, you're not selling months, you're selling a result, so. Sure, so sell like a. For X price, I'll get you 10,000 followers, but it's not about months, it's about 10,000 followers. Okay, so don't. And if it happens in four days, then that's awesome. Yeah, so don't make it about the, don't do a retainer, just kind don't of. Don't sell time sell the transformation sell the transformation yeah okay yeah i gotta package that to uh the right thing so instead of a month by month thing you're saying don't do month by month then well how's that working for you are people sticking around for five six ten months if i do like a three month then yeah they, they can they will but i think you're right if i just sell them on like a we'll get you to 100k or something and this, that's the price, you know, then it, that, that'll probably work a lot better, right? Yeah. I don't sell, I don't sell hours. I sell, you know, I'm going to help you go from zero to cash flow in six months. I'm going to help you, you know, I charge a price, 7,500. I guarantee you'll make your money back and double it. If you don't, I keep working with you until you do. People don't want to hire a business coach and not have the cash register ring. What they really want they want their freaking business to work yeah and i'm letting them know i take a stand that i am going to help you get that result you know and once you get that result then you come back and hire me again but you know i just believe that if you spend money on a business coach business should actually improve and if you can't guarantee your you know you got to be able to you got to be able to make a promise and keep it 
Yeah, for sure. Be a promise keeper. People say, oh, you can't guarantee. It's like, well, I do. Why can't you? Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't because it's kind of like you can't. Um, it's hard to guarantee results, right? Unless you. I do it. Yeah. No, don't tell me it's hard because I do it. I invented a way. Yeah. Like it's for boys, like yeah. so small. Now, now the question is, is what result are you? I mean, you're offering a result. You're saying I can get you to ten thousand followers in ninety days. 90 well, days. it doesn't matter. It's like I'll get you to ten thousand followers. Yeah. And yeah. if it takes a week, great. And if if it takes a hundred weeks, we're gonna get you to ten thousand followers. Yeah. Um. So, so how so, confident are you that you can do it? You know you can. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. So sell them on that result, but not the not the don't sell hours. Yeah. Time is more valuable than money. You can always get more money. That's true. Yeah. Money is abundant. Time is is limited. Yeah. Life is very short. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um that's true. But um, yeah, does that help, Joe, though? Like, yeah, you could repost marketing stuff. You could repost Vowel's content around. Um, yeah, it does make sense. Um, you're just. You're I'm really there. behind on a bunch of stuff now. I'm glad I got a holiday <laughs> so I can work. <laughs> yeah, what do you do on the holidays usually? So you don't even, so you don't even uh, have family, family moments. Yeah. yeah. I ain't got nobody. Yeah, well, how about your family? Like your uh, cousins or like, I don't know everybody's busy with their lives yeah that's true everyone has their own life to live so that's true it's so red why is it so red the lighting in your oh that's probably i can change that you have you have room lighting different room lighting wait hang on hang on there you go <laughs> What happened? <clears throat> Penny, good. Penny, if you have to go, it's fine. Yeah, I will yeah. see you guys on Monday. Sure. If you're lucky. You're lucky. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys enjoy your holiday. Yeah, you too. Thank you, Penny. Have a good yeah. one. And then I will see you guys on Monday. If you guys need anything, just let me know. All right. All right. For sure. Same, same here. Hey guys. Yeah. Sorry, my son's YouTube is like super long. Uh, YouTube, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, spend time with, you know. Family. It literally, I mean, I don't know what time it is over there, but it's like midnight here. Really? Where, where, yeah. Where, where are you based again? It's in, uh. We're in Minnesota, so we're probably like two hours after you guys. It's probably like cold AF there, isn't it? It is freezing here. Like, we just had a snowstorm today and. Everything was just cold and freezing and windy. I'm in California. It was like 70 today. It was really a brisk, like 70. I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's like I hate all weather. of you. Don't even tell me about it. Same weather is always here. Same as always. All I right, spent some time with Cody, you know, and uh, he came out because he's from Michigan and it's cold there too. Yeah. How was it? I heard. Yeah, we had we had a, better, we had a good time. Yeah. That's good. Cody, Cody, like I, I helped Cody out with, I spent like 30 minutes helping Cody like redo his messaging. Yeah. And he's like blown away. It's like, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. He's, he recommended hey. me too, for sure. All right, good night, guys. I'm hopping off. All right. Yeah. Bye, Penny. I need to hop off too, brother. All right, man. Have a good one, Joe. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.